Hi, this is Rob with SalesPad. In this video, I'd like to show you how to work with workflow queues in the, uh, the SalesPad workflow editor. I will primarily be concentrating on this panel here where you see the workflow queues, and uh, the other panels I'm going to leave for a different video. So, to start off, I'd like to show you just how to add, add a new queue, and I'm going to call this one, um, let's, let's call this one shipping. And now we can change the order that these queues. Um, reside in later, but for now I'm just going to add it here at the bottom, and I don't need to, uh, I guess let's let's add a button caption for invoicing, and this will send it to a, a ready to invoice badge. And in the app, and in the process of that, um, we can choose a plugin to pop up, so if at this point we need to add a sales document payment, for example, I think that one can be used here. Um, sales fulfillment that would make sense here either. Um, but there are some some of these um, plugins can be used to to take a certain action um, when moving a document from one queue to the next. Um, and then <coughs> this uh, this next checkbox here, if I turn this on, it'll bring up the print dialog. Uh, it won't actually force the user to print a certain report, but it'll bring up the dialog where they can print from. The eval checkbox will enable workflow rules evaluated on this uh, on this move from one queue to the next. Um, rules, up, I'm going to leave those for another video. And then the force checkbox, <coughs> this one causes some confusion, but really all it does is um, normally workflow rules don't apply to documents that have already had hold applied. So this, um, this checkbox overrides that and lets workflow rules apply over and over again even once a hold has been applied and removed. So that about covers how to add a queue. Um, next, I'm going to move this up in the workflow so it sits below the checked queue. And to do that, I'm going to edit the sequence number, and I'm going to set it so that it's between checked and low margin. So I'm going to set it to just good old 15 for now. Uh, and then I'm going to tab off, and uh, just clicking anywhere will we'll reorder. Uh, reorder the queues. I can check. Uh, I, I can press this button to resequence the numbers so that they're lined up in increments of 10 once again. So now that this is in place, um, I would most likely want a button here uh, on this previous queue to uh, uh, let's do picking for now, and then uh, that button, that picking button, will will send it on to. Shipping, and then I want rules enabled on that one, so I'll check that box. So there you have it. I just added a rule to. Uh, I'm, not, I'm sorry, not a rule. I added a workflow queue um, in the middle of the workflow, essentially, and um, I added a button with a caption to send documents from a previous queue over to my shipping queue, and then also a button to forward it out of there into a ready to invoice queue. And uh, so stay tuned. We're going to have more videos on setting up workflow. Uh, thanks again for watching this video. This is Rob with SalesPad.